Springfield city leaders are still working with the Ohio State Highway Patrol to make streets safer. Ohio Department of Transportation Director Andy Wilson was at tonight's meeting with an update on the Highway Patrol's efforts. 2 News reporter Evan Bales joins us live in Springfield after that meeting. Evan, what's the city's plan moving forward? Yes, city, city leaders in Springfield are still working to solve the issues surrounding their lack of infrastructure in order to support all of their new residents. The Ohio, the Ohio Highway Patrol has been working tirelessly since September 11th, delivering data that the city may find useful when figuring out where to focus its resources. Now, Ohio Highway State Troopers have been and been in and around the Springfield area for the last four weeks patrolling high risk areas. Since the start of their traffic blitz, they've made 744 traffic stops with 411 resulting in violations. Wilson reported traffic safety is a deep rooted issue in Ohio as drivers education is often unattainable for many potential drivers due to high costs. However, the Department of Transportation is working to change that through grants for drivers education, one of which was awarded to Springfield Clark Career Technology Center, amounting to around $700,000 for driving school. You know, we, we don't we want it to be available as part of the curriculum, but we certainly want them to be able to take for free or very reduced to the cost. Now, since the state of Ohio removed driver's education from school's curriculum, private companies have stepped in to fill that vacuum and sometimes at unattainable costs for those wanting to learn how to drive. Now, Wilson says he and Governor DeWine are working piece by piece to try and re-implement driver's education back into schools in order to make Ohio a safer place to be on the roads. Live in Springfield, Evan Bales, 2 News.